Welcome back. On Sunday, Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli, on behalf of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, inaugurated the ICT Cairo 2024. The uh, summit or the platform which gathers from all over the world hundreds if not thousands of researchers, academics, businessmen, investors in the field of AI and IT and uh, to exchange views. Um, there are many pavilions and there is also on the sidelines of the summit an exhibition as the, the Premier also toured it and he had talks with investors, businessmen, new entrepreneurs who were keen to attend the uh, summit or the ICT exhibition and conference. So we call it summit because it's really gathering a lot of top states uh, persons, top statesmen, um, not only from the Arab and Middle East region, but I think from all over the world. To shed more light on the important event, we are very much delighted to have with us uh, via phone Dr. Wael Bedawi, professor at the AI College and member of the Communication and IT Research Council. Uh, professor Bedawi, thank you very much for being with us and a very good morning. Uh, thank you and good morning to you and uh, thank you for giving me an opportunity to reflect on this important event. Sir, before uh, going into uh, more details regarding the important event, as you've kindly mentioned, who owns data owns everything. And the theme of this edition is the next wave. If you want to tell us more or elaborate on the meaning and indications of this theme. Uh, next wave uh, stands for the real application because over the last uh, two to three years we have been, we have an explosion of uh, different techniques, different tools, and uh, which shed the light on the importance of AI and the data manipulation, data management. So right now we are into the application mode, or we are where we take uh, fruitful results of this research and this application from different companies. That's why. It's called the new wave because mm -hmm. the new generation, the new, the next year market will only use these tools. Mm -hmm. And uh, regarding the workshops, the um, uh, roundtable discussions, the, the brainstorming uh, discussions, interactive sessions, if you want to elaborate on the uh, agenda of uh, the summit, as, as I said in my intro, it's gathering hundreds if not thousands of participants coming from all over the world, particularly to participate in this event. Uh, uh, we have uh, different delegates from all over the world, as you mentioned, and uh, there are so many uh, workshops and uh, roundtable discussions. All of them are uh, in the direction of what are the benefits of using data analytics, data science, what are the benefits of using AI analysis, robotics as another example, and uh, how we can take advantage of this technology to increase the standard of living or to support our society with uh, better services and better uh, uh, activities. Uh, we have also uh, events directed towards uh, entrepreneurship, the new companies coming. Mm. Uh, we've seen uh, lots of uh, communication companies have been deployed uh, different aspects of uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, we have been seeing a little bit of uh, moving robots around, like companies like we, uh, as a customer service or as, uh, or as uh, alternative of customer service, uh, front, uh, front uh, line uh, robots. So I asked very... this question, sir, in specific, because not so many people thought uh, that um, AI um, um, can be used or its applications um, can be implemented in um, medicine, for example, in education, in uh, even the banking system. Uh, how do you see the importance of spreading awareness to the layman in the street that AI is not only about the IT, it's not only about uh, this technology. No, it's uh, simply the future of all fields, of all domains. And this is exactly where there are a few demos on uh, different aspects of, uh, or different applications. Uh, ICT is uh, mostly populated with companies in the information communication uh, and the telecom uh, industry. Uh, that's why uh, there is not too many um, uh, applications in the areas of uh, healthcare or the areas of uh, uh, transportation or, or different aspects. Uh, however, it demonstrates the core, it demonstrates the uh, implementations, it demonstrates different systems. So uh, it, 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 it's, a, it's actually a very good eye-opener on the future. Yeah, and uh, I think 
the event, whether it's uh, the conference itself or the exhibition which is held on the sidelines of the conference, this is the comprehensive side of the coin, meaning we can talk together, we can have discussions, we can have a round table uh, discussions, and in the same time, practically, we can watch what's going on on the ground or the uh, latest innovations in this regard. So it's both sides, if you agree with me on that. Yeah, I agree with you, and it also gives the decision makers the opportunity to look at uh, different competitors in the market, because when you see different companies side to side uh, demonstrating similar technology or different development of the same technology, mm. it uh, supports the decision maker to make the best decision, because you can see it on the floor. Uh, there is a say, if you are not in the show, you don't exist in the market. So sure. this particular show is the flagship. It's the, uh, for Egypt right now, and the majority of the players in the Egyptian market Arab re and Arab region mm. will, be, will be keen to participate in this particular conference. Amen to that. And also the uh, uh, huge participation uh, of uh, the uh, private sector, as we do have uh, pavilions for the Ministry of uh, uh, International, uh, sorry, of IT, Information and Technology, and even uh, the uh, Post Authority. We do have such, such, I can call it the lion's share of um, the uh, exhibition um, uh, is coming from the private sector, uh, enabling yes. the private sector to, to share or to invade this market. I think it's a huge step, if you also agree with me. Yes, I agree with you, and uh, we have whole one, which will be the government agencies, and the whole two is mainly for the different uh, private companies and the private sectors, and the private sectors are the actual enable or the fuel for this kind of an application and industry because the government is the consumer of it. Mm -hmm. So government will demonstrate how it's applied to serve uh, people. And the, on the other side, it shows where it comes from. So this was a very well uh, managed, very well designed uh, show uh, floor. So it's, uh, you see it normal, sir, to find that the participants uh, in the uh, um, uh, Cairo, uh, I call it the Cairo IT Summit, uh, a year or, uh, or an edition after the other is really increasing now. We can simply say that there are thousands of uh, participants, whether they are key speakers, they are businessmen, new entrepreneurs, investors in this domain, of course, uh, officials coming from uh, all over the world. Uh, how do you see the increasing number of the participants? Yes, the uh, rapid increasing number of participants, it actually comes from uh, our, the, our government initiative because we have been taking the flagship of information technology and AI for more than three years. And that's why right now we are uh, in a position as a, as a country to, be a, to play a role in this market. And this is where we increase the number of participants. Uh, we have also to remember that uh, we are the leader in education in AI since uh, 1999 and, uh, uh, sorry, since 2019, 2019, and uh, since then we have a, a new generation coming in this area. This is a reflect on the participation as well as the attendees of this particular uh, conference. So the conference and the show is a must to see for, all, for everybody. Yeah, and among also the topics uh, which are going to be discussed throughout the days of the conference, it's cyber security and cryptocurrency. If you want to also elaborate on that. Uh, cyber security, it's uh, one of the more, uh, um, we can call it uh, the more vital uh, discussion point right now because there are so many reports about so many attacks happening everywhere, almost everywhere around the nation and, uh, and worldwide. So cybersecurity becomes as a must, and uh, there are a special forums for uh, cybersecurity. Uh, regarding cryptocurrencies, I strongly believe it's still uh, up in the air because uh, cryptocurrency uh, actually changed the way we think about money and uh, crypt and uh, currencies. Mm -hmm. So these are still discussions. We don't believe there will be an actionable item on it, but for sure cybersecurity, on the other hand, is... Uh, where we are now uh, look at the uh, vulnerability of our systems and how to protect our system from uh, cyber attacks. And this is uh, the top of, a, of every agenda. We have been seeing so many attacks different places. We don't want to really mention Le Lebanon and uh, Russia and so many places. So mm -hmm. this is uh, part of every information to communication technology event right now in Egypt. Yeah. Because we need to not only to create awareness not only to uh, create tools, not only to protect people, 
but to keep the dialogue moving on because it's, uh, it has to be international activities because usually the attackers are not from the same country. So this is uh, one issue where it's always on our agenda as uh, the Egyptian minister and uh, even the president, our president, always having this on his own agenda. It's a cross-border crime. It's a cross-border crime. It's a worldwide crime. Yeah, amen to that. <laughs> Sir, let's say or let's speak a little bit about the economic or the investment side of the coin. How uh, the conference is a platform for signing deals or for new, new, for new entrepreneurs to prove that they are that serious in invading this market and can have uh, fruitful cooperation with different investors, not only from the Middle East area or from the even African continent, but from the whole world. Uh, this kind of this type of conferences and uh, show and the show uh, shows it's always have the decision maker and it's always have the government or uh, big, large organization which they do have issues or they do have uh, need to fulfill. So it's a good uh, platform for small companies, startup companies, large companies to come and write deals. And the investors who usually would like to write to see deals mm -hmm. with real customers. And that's why there are lots of investment uh, will be coming toward the small companies being in the expo because it's a good, like, we want to say, like, people come to this show because they want to spend time exploring new technologies, exploring uh, small companies. So that's why the investment, uh, it's the right time to attract investments, attending these particular shows as exhibitors. Um, I'm focusing on this, sir, because so many people feel that there are uh, secrets all the time and exchanging data, exchanging uh, the new uh, cutting-edge technologies. It's not that easy because the researchers spent um, a lot of efforts to reach this. How, after spending such um, efforts and time to reach this, simply I'm going to exchange what I have with you? There is here some misunderstandings. It's uh, completely misunderstood because uh, currently uh, the amount of effort and the amount of ownership for the trained uh, networks and uh, in particular in AI domain, uh, you cannot basically release it. You can always talk about the application, but you hold the technology in your bucket. So mm -hmm. uh, having uh, this secretive uh, development will not get anybody anywhere because the technology right now is at a stage which is... Uh, you own the core, so mm -hmm. you cannot basically provide the core by just simple discussion or simple demos. Mm -hmm. And having the service uh, and the computational as a service or right on the cloud, this is enable us to protect our uh, IP or our intellectual property, so it will not be just stolen. Mm -hmm. So uh, these particular forums are key, in particularly with uh, 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 our prime minister having the opening and all the different ministers going through the floor, this is enable uh, exposure to this particular government uh, individuals who are responsible for make for signing the deal. Yes. Uh, this is a very well attended conference and a well, very well attended show and uh, we are so keen usually to even get our students to attend these particular shows because this is where the technology is going and where the future is coming. And it's, um, it's going to be, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be such a wonderful experience for all of them. Uh, professor Dr. Wael Bedawi, Professor at the uh, AI College and member of the Communication and IT Research Council. Thank you very much for your input, sir. Have a very good day. And we are going to continue covering the uh, event throughout the day. We are going also to cover the participation of President Abdel Fattah Sisi in the G20 Summit in Brazil throughout the day. Only on Nile TV internationally, you are going to find all the details and all the developments of uh, those two main events. Well, by this, we come to the end of our episode. Stay tuned on Live TV International always for more. Many thanks for watching. This was Nirmina Abdurrahman.